Hi, my name is Jessie Golden, and this is The Golden Secrets. I am so grateful for today's guest because he was the first physician to introduce cryotherapy to the United States, and he is one of the co-founders of Cryo Healthcare with their unique walk-in cryo chambers. And I'm obsessed. I've been going for over a year, and it was originally invented for rheumatoid arthritis in Japan. That's why I started going, but the benefits have been absolutely amazing. So here today is Dr. Jonas Kune. <laughs> Thank Hi, you Jessie. so much. I'm so grateful for you. I mean, I'm obsessed with cryotherapy. You know, I'm, I see you almost every day. I got totally addicted. Can you tell us a little bit more um, about the benefits other than... Yeah, sure. So, I mean, as you mentioned, it was initially invented to treat rheumatoid arthritis actually by a, a Japanese rheumatologist. And um, that was in 1978. And since then, it has been uh, used all over Europe to treat rheumatoid arthritis and other systemic inflammatory disorders, mostly autoimmune disorders. And then um, kind of in the, you know, but let's say like 15 years ago, the athletes discovered it. So mm. professional athletes started using it because they noticed that, you know, when you bring down inflammation, you also facilitate uh, healing of muscle tissue and other things. So you shorten recovery period. So the benefits are basically that it's a systemic anti-inflammatory treatment and inflammation is at the core of many illnesses. When you have an autoimmune disorder such as rheumatoid arthritis, you feel it the most because then it's, it's, it's right there, it's prevalent, it manifests as a disease. But inflammation can be at the beginning of illnesses like you know, cancer, heart disease, and other autoimmune disorders that we know. So decreasing inflammation is actually a, a good thing to do. We know that inflammation is harmful for the body over time. And we have people from all walks of life using this now. Yeah. And I even actually, I mean, I feel like I get kind of a little mental high mm -hmm. after you go. And it's only, right. you know, maximum is three minutes, right? That's right. And I go two minutes because you still mm -hmm. receive the same benefits. Is yeah, that that's right? right. All the studies were done between <coughs> one and a half and two minutes. Mm -hmm. There's over 400 publications. Um, so when you look at the medical literature on PubMed and you search it, you see a lot of publications. So all the studies were done between one and a half and, and, and two minutes. Three minutes is the maximum time. After that, we are, we're too worried about um, skin injury from the cold temperatures. Because you basically go in there in your undies and mm -hmm. then we, you cover the limbs, the areas that could get... Yeah, you cover the extremities. You cover the, um, the hands, the feet. Um, you want to wear like a, like a face mask that just purely to make the air that you're breathing a bit warmer. Mm -hmm. It's normal room air in those chambers. You're breathing just normal room air, but it's cooled to minus 220 to minus 240 Fahrenheit. So you want to um, protect, you know, things that don't have adequate blood supply in that, right. in that scenario. Like the ears. And oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when I first went, I did actually get nervous. I've mm. never been claustrophobic, and I hate being cold. Right. So the fact that I'm obsessed with cryotherapy yeah. is absolutely insane to me right now. But the benefits and how I feel, and like you mm. said, it breaks the inflammation down. Right. Um, but there's also some, like, beauty stuff, too, as well, right? Yeah, that's right. So, so we have different crowds so when you um, look at arthritis I mean in, in, again in Europe it's been used here um, we don't have yet FDA approval to advertise that we're treating rheumatoid arthritis mm -hmm. even though in Europe that that is being done I can just tell you from from our experience we have several clients that do have rheumatoid arthritis that have now absolutely uh, normalized blood markers now that doesn't mean it works for everyone with rheumatoid arthritis but I think a large portion will hugely benefit then there's a crowd, like you said, who probably has nothing wrong with them. And they're either looking for beauty benefits, because when you look at freezing your skin briefly, especially flash freezing the skin. So the way this works is you, the cells that we're targeting are in the lower layers of your skin and in the capillary beds. So the endothelial and epithelial cells that then can produce anti-inflammatory proteins called cytokines. So there's a shift in the cytokine protein profile. And that is causing all of your body an anti-inflammatory response. So it's really an inside-out treatment. But um, so when you think about it, uh, that's kind of more the medical aspect. But you have also cells in your skin that produce collagen. And when you flash freeze those, they get more activated. So collagen production improves. Um, metabolism picks up at a significant rate. Uh, while you're in there, I mean, you know you're only in for two minutes, which is very safe, or three minutes. Um, your body doesn't know that. Your body thinks you're going to die unless you change some parameters. <laughs> And the parameter to change in this extreme situation is upregulation of metabolic rate, which allows mm. better heat production and also optimization of cellular processes, which then allow you to survive longer in this environment. Mm. And, and, and that change gets triggered in those two minutes you're in there. 
but it doesn't reset as soon as you step out of the chamber. It resets days later. It takes time to simmer back to normal. In wow. that time, metabolism is up, like you talked about this, this runner's high, endorphins are released, yes. you know, you feel very good, which is one reason in Europe it's also used to treat depressive disorder because you actually modulate uh, 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 mood over time with that. Wow, that's so fascinating. So how did you end up bringing it here? What was that like? So it's interesting. So um, before this, I was actually a Medicare provider. So I was a physician that saw mostly Medicare patients. And I was always interested in preventive medicine. And my wife, uh, back then she was my girlfriend, she did a report in, uh, in Germany, in, in Berlin, on cryotherapy. Mm. And I happened to be there at the time. You know, We were, had like a long distance relationship. And so I went with her. I was reluctant. I, did, ah, I don't want to go. And then noticed what they're doing. And then I did some more research. And there was nothing in the US yet. Wow. And so then I thought, oh, how can we get chambers here? And that's kind of how this started. And everybody thought you were crazy, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> like, why are we going to go freeze yeah, ourselves? Yeah, I think, you know, well, you, you know, you're working as a doctor. Why do you need to, you know, import expensive yeah. machines and set all these things up, you know? Yeah. But I was interested, you know, it's um, now with our clinic, it's kind of like everything we offer, I, I do as well. And if I don't like it for whatever reason, or I find the research not conclusive enough, I won't offer it. And so the cry I do, you know, and we do a few other treatments. So it's like, um, it, it was a bit of a, a self-interest at first because I wanted this here. And the interesting thing then, I, I thought we we're going to have all these people with arthritis and pain, but the first clients were professional basketball players. Yes. So they knew this treatment from Europe and other places. And they found out that, that I did this. And in my tiny office, we saw uh, a lot of amazing, you know, uh, pro basketball players. Because I know a lot of athletes do like ice baths or cold plunge. Right. Um, which is a little bit more time consuming, but what else is the benefits? Well, they do that. And it's also a bit different when you think about it. So, I, I mean, I like ice baths. I think it's, it's a bit cumbersome to run, but it's different than whole body cryotherapy. So in an ice bath, it, it, it's, a, it's a different and, and slower process to cool the skin. Uh, cryo is much, much colder. Yes. An ice bath, think about it, you know, you have ice water, you're about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. We go to minus 220. And in the studies, they kind of showed there's a, there's a threshold. You have to get colder than minus 180 degrees Fahrenheit to trigger the anti-inflammatory response. So ice baths are great for injuries or swelling to bring it down immediately after. But to get really the anti-inflammatory benefits of whole body cryo, you have to go much, much colder. Yeah. And the nice thing about cryo is that, that, that it's dry. And it's quick. I mean, I'm yeah. in and out of there in five minutes, exactly. which is so right. yeah. uh, mm -hmm. amazing. And then you guys do have some other modalities that I've, I've yeah. personally used and I love. Do you want to talk a little bit about? Sure, we do. I mean, we do localized cryo treatments and that's more like an ice pack on, on steroids because it's a very, very cold local treatment. So when you talk about someone that has inflammation or swollen joints, that's a good one to do locally. Mm -hmm. uh, we do cryofacials with that. So that's a bit more of a beauty treatment we do with that as well, mm -hmm. where we flash freeze the skin of the face briefly. And then we do injections, we do injections of B12, uh, uh, different vitamins, we do glutathione injections. And we just recently started um, high dose uh, vitamin C. Yes. I don't like many other modalities or many other IVs, but you know, I do like the high dose vitamin C. Again, something that, that I do and you know, uh, my family does as well. So I see benefits in that. Um, so we're very specific about what we, what we allow you know, to be in our menu. Well, I think, I think that's why I love you guys and I feel mm. safe. It's mm. family owned. It's you, your yeah. wife and your brother. Right. And um, I love that you kind of do all these things yourself and you believe yeah. in it. And that's why it, that's why it works. Mm. And cryotherapy has become one of my golden secrets. I share it with everybody and mm. I'm such a fan. And I'm assuming it's one of yours, but I always right. like to ask my guests, if you could share one of your golden secrets, what would it be? Other than, other than <coughs> the things you've already mentioned, is there right. anything else? So in terms of how things develop, I think the, the main thing is no excuses. You know, mm. I think my main thing I strongly believe in is no excuses. When you, you talked about the initial difficulties of setting this up, and it's easy to say along the way, this gets too difficult. Yes. And you see it even, you know, before I started medical school, I, I went to med school at UCLA and in and, and, and undergrad, you had a bunch of people that wanted to go to medical school and then many dropped out, not because they weren't smart enough at all, but they, they made excuses, you know. Oh, I didn't go to get, get a good grade here. Teacher didn't like me. This happened, you know. In I think anything that, when things become difficult, it's easy to get out of it by making excuses. Mm. So I think the main rule I think is, don't make excuses. If you want to do something, stick to it. I love that. That's a great golden secret. 
Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. And I will see you at Cryo. Absolutely. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, thank you. <laughs>